Logic Zero example 13.2, a consistent set of multiple propositions. All right, so here we're given this set of propositions. We see that we have two variables. We're making a truth table here. And we have our familiar setup here for two variables. We're going to skip negation and then do the values of A. Now we can do the negation. So we, we jump back and do that. Skip conjunction. Do the values of B. Now conjunction, we're looking at false true. That's going to be false, 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 true, true is true, true, false is false. Okay, and then we have underscores, we have the values of A, skip disjunction, values of B, uh, disjunction is true if either of them is true, and false when both are false. And then we're going to do our underscores. Values of A, skipping material consequence, values of B, true, true is true, true, false. That's the only time it's false. If the antecedent is false, we know that the material consequence is true. And now, with the body of the table filled out, we look for an interpretation where all three statements are true. First interpretation, not a winner. Second interpretation, false. Okay, true, false, not a winner. Ah, but here in the third interpretation, we have true, true, true. So we're looking at the capital values here. True, true, true. All three statements are true in this interpretation. So we're going to mark this with a percent sign. And I want you to think of the percent sign like a check mark. That means good, correct, or something like that. It's some kind of affirmative check mark. And what we're affirming here is that this interpretation proves that these statements are logically consistent. Let's see. Uh, does the fourth interpretation help us? No. But as long as we have one interpretation where all the statements are true, then the set is consistent. And we get an answer string that looks like this. <laughs>